Seeking perfection? Try this instead. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Cornwell with Get Taped here in Atlanta, Georgia, one of Atlanta's original audition taping services, which I co-own with my amazingly talented, beautiful wife and best friend, Brooke. Right on cue. And now on to our topic. Seeking perfection? Try this instead. Okay, listen, we're all susceptible to this, especially in this world of self-taping. Namely, because you have the luxury of doing another take. It opens up a whole new way for actors to get it right or make it perfect. And by the way, I said a whole new way because even before self-tapes, when everything was in person, we still obsessed over trying to get it right. The only difference was we stressed out that we needed to get it right on the first take and just hoped and prayed that if we didn't get it perfect on that first take, that casting would ask for a redirect or at least give us the benefit of a second take so that we could get it perfect. So what happened then and what happens now in the world of self-taping when it doesn't go perfect? Because let's be honest, 100% of the time, it's not perfect, never has been. Even when you book the job, it wasn't perfect because it's art and art is messy, as I've said in previous videos. So do you shame yourself, wallow in regret for the rest of the day or week? I really, really hope not, but I've been there. Okay, Matt, so if I'm not supposed to go down these rabbit holes of negativity, then what's the answer? Well, I'll get to that in a second, but if you're watching this video before May 3rd, 2023, then go to the show notes below so that you can learn about an opportunity. We're doing a class to complement self-tape May called Get Better Together. The best part? We're collaborating with our dear friend from the performer's mindset, Joe Town. Hey, uh, hey, that's Brooke Shtick. In the class, we'll be tackling lots of things, including this obsession that actors have with being perfect. And here's a little spoiler. We shouldn't be seeking perfection, but instead, excellence. It may seem like semantics, but stay with me. You see, perfection is results-oriented. It depends on the outcome, right? If the outcome wasn't perfect, well, then the whole thing was a tragedy. Or to use a sports analogy, if a player or a team is perfect, then that necessarily means they won. Because if they were perfect, there's no way they could have lost. Because if they lost, then either the offense or the defense wasn't perfect. Whereas if the team strove for excellence, they can achieve excellence and yet still lose. Excellence focuses more on process, whereas perfection relies solely on product. So bringing this back to acting, don't seek perfection. But yes, do seek excellence. Excellence in your craft, excellence in your technique, excellence in everything that you do. But to do that, you need to cultivate a way of reflecting on past performances so that you can see what needs improvement. How am I gonna get better? And if you don't have a system, come join our class. But let me get more granular or specific about this topic. Perfection is the enemy of being in the present. What I mean by that is when an actor is trying to be perfect, it means they've created a plan through rehearsal after rehearsal after rehearsal until that rehearsal is perfect. And if you do this, then when you're finally ready to perform and you're standing on that mark, what happens to your brain? Are you in the present, ready to listen and react? No, you're in the past. You're trying to access a memory, remembering your choices, your voice inflection, etc. You're anywhere other than the present. Because if you were truly in the present, you would be open to all of the impulses that would result from the stimuli in your environment. Don't believe me? Here's a quick test. If you're in the middle of your perfect take and a cell phone goes off or a dog barks or a car honks outside, what do you do? You freeze, forget your line, fall completely apart, hit stop on the camera, or do you take in that impulse? and react to it. <gasps> Gasp. I'm not saying that you submit that take in the end because after all, with self-taping, you have that luxury of another take. But if you cultivate a habit of stopping every time that it's not perfect, you are developing a bad habit. You're doing it again and again so that you can keep trying to access that memory of the perfect performance and hoping that you can somehow channel that memory from the past into the present. Here's another quick test. You ever think to yourself, ugh, why was it so much better at home or in the car or in the bathroom? Well, because you perfected that performance in that environment. And as you stand here in this new environment trying to access that memory, 
the different elements of this environment might just be too different than that previous environment. The temperature, the size of the room, the carpet versus the hardwoods, and your reader. Speaking of, I've had actors blame me as the reason for their bad take because I'm just not used to you reading the lines. I, I, I don't know you. Um, spoiler alert, when you get to set, uh, likely you'll have only one rehearsal with this actor whom you've never met. And it's usually just for technical reasons to get blocking and lighting and all that stuff. So are you going to tell that Oscar winning actor it's their fault? Uh, hey, Mahershala, um, it's, it's really your fault that I messed up that previous take because I'm just not used to you saying those lines. I had, I had my wife, uh, read them with me at home. So, uh, so yeah, let's, let's just take it back from the top. Cool. Just stop. Stop chasing perfection. Seeking that unattainable performance might just make you look stilted and casting can sniff that out even in a self tape or the flip side it looks too slick like you've done it a hundred times because you probably have so as i sum up let me repeat cultivate excellence in your work in everything you do in life quite honestly but stop pursuing perfection or at the very least stop holding yourself accountable when you don't achieve that perfect take because if you don't absolve yourself from this need for perfection you just won't be any fun to be around that's it for now thanks for watching and we'll see you on set